Hey, Ginny, can you help me to move this stone away? It's too heavy. Yes, sure. Ah, do you know that the effort we make to push or pull is known as force? Let me tell you the effects of force. Force can move the object at rest. For example, when you kick a ball, it moves. Force can stop a moving object. Force can change the direction of a moving object. Force can change the shape of an object. A ball moving on the ground comes to rest after moving through some distance. Do you know what makes the ball to stop? The ball stops due to frictional force. When two surfaces slide over each other, the force which opposes the motion is called the force of friction. It will be less if the surfaces are smooth and it will be more if the surfaces are rough. We use our muscles to do so many things such as writing, lifting, pulling and pushing. Because our muscles are used to do these works. Therefore, such force is called muscular force. Materials like plastics create some type of force after rubbing them against dry hair or silk cloth. And they attract small pieces of paper or your body hair. This force is known as electrostatic force. Lightning and thunder are also caused by it. Whenever we throw an object high in the air, we see that it comes back to the earth. It is because earth attracts the object towards it with a force known as gravitational force. We use cranes to lift heavy things. Our muscular force is not enough to lift heavy things. The force used by machines to do the work is called mechanical force. We often stick fridge magnets on our refrigerators, but we cannot stick the same magnet on the plastic object. What does this mean? It means that a magnet attracts some metallic objects such as iron objects. It also attracts or repels other magnets with a force. The force which attracts the metallic objects is called magnetic force. Try to push a ball with your force. Does it move? No. Here force is applied but work is not done as there is no movement or displacement of the ball. According to science, work is done only when a force is applied on an object and moves it through some distances. Work done depends on two things. Amount of force applied on an object. The distance through which the object moves. If any one of these two conditions is not met, then it is said that work is not done. Energy is the ability to do work. All types of work like running, lifting heavy load, climbing, reading, talking, etc. require energy. Energy is of different types depending upon sources. The energy that we get from the sun is known as solar energy. It is the most important source of energy. Green plants use this energy directly to make their food. Solar energy is also used to cook food, heat water and generate electricity. Moving air has energy which is called wind energy. This energy can be used to rotate the blades of a windmill which helps us in grinding wheat or rice or pumping out water. 
Windmills are also used for generating electricity. The flowing water has energy. This energy can be used mainly to produce electricity. The electrical energy obtained from the flowing water is known as hydroelectricity. Some natural substances like coal, petrol, cooking gas, oil, wood, etc. have stored energy in them. These substances are called fuels. Fuels on burning release a type of energy called heat energy. Energy stored in atoms, the tiniest particles is called atomic energy. This energy is used to produce electricity in atomic power stations. Some people use this energy for destructive purposes like making atom bomb. Do you know? The word energy comes from the Greek word energia. Nuclear power produces around 13% of the world's electricity. The interior of the earth is very hot. A type of energy called geothermal energy is derived from it. There are many types of energy. Let us study some of them. Heat energy is the most common form of energy. We get it by burning fuel, wood, coal, kerosene or cooking gas etc. We need heat energy to cook food and heat water. It is also needed in steam engine to pull the train and many more tasks. Energy that comes from electricity is called electrical energy. It is used at many places. It is used to run the electrical appliances like fans, TVs, tube lights, fridges, computers, etc. It is the energy present in our muscles which helps us to do all the work. We get this energy by eating food. Some animals carry loads for us or do work for us by using their muscular energy. Do you know that scissors is a simple machine? Is it so? Yes, dear. Any tool or device that makes our work easier and faster is called a machine. A car, a bus, a train or an aeroplane, all are machines. All these big machines are actually made up of many small machines. The small tools which make our work easy are known as simple machines. Some of the simple machines are lever, inclined plane, pulley, screw, wheel and axle. Let us see how these machines help us. Lever is a simple machine. It is used to lift weights, cut things and open lids. Scissors, forceps, tongs, nut crackers, jack and bottle openers are some examples of levers. A small child can lift up a heavier child on a seesaw, which is also a type of lever. Time for activity. Try to lift a big rock without any help. Now, use a small rock and a stick as shown in the figure to lift the same rock. See the difference. How easily you can lift the big rock just by using a small rock and a stick. This is an example of simple machine, lever. A surface which is raised from one end is called an inclined plane. You know, it is difficult to lift a heavy object, but it can be rolled up easily with the help of an inclined plane. A wedge is a simple machine that consists of two inclined planes attached to form a sharp edge. 
it is used to cut things axes and knives are some examples of wedges pulley is a wheel over which a rope or chain is pulled in order to lift heavy objects people in villages use pulley to draw water from wells screws it is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder which has sharp pointed end it is turned and moved with the help of a screw driver which makes it easier to drive into wood and this helps to fix things to each other wheel and axle it is a simple machine in which wheel revolves on an axle it helps a vehicle to move a bicycle pedal a steering wheel and screw driver are the examples of wheel and axle let us summarize the push or pull of an object is called force force can change the speed direction or shape of an object there are various types of forces such as frictional force muscular force electrostatic force and gravitational force work is said to be done when a force is applied on an object and moves it through some distance work done depends on the amount of force and distance through which the object moves the ability to do work is called energy the sun wind water the earth and fuels are the various sources of energy machines make our work easier and faster levers screws wheel and axle pulley and inclined planes are simple machines